This is Matt Russell, and welcome to the Daily Effects Forum. So here are the four pairs that I will be discussing this evening, the Euro Pound, the Aussie Kiwi, the Pound Swiss, and the Euro Swiss. So let's go ahead and pull up the charts. The first chart is the Euro Pound. If you recall, during yesterday's report, I mentioned the failure of the uh, of this potential evening star pattern as prices did take out the high of this borderline doji candle here. And I also mentioned yesterday that I did not see any favorable setups. Uh, but moving forward now, I do see at least a potential uh, for a resistance line here near that 90.65 area or about 90.67. Uh, so with prices now about 20 pips beneath that level, I might look for another 10 pips to the upside and then look to maybe enter a short trade placing your stop above that 9067 area maybe about uh, 20 pips or so above there so about 9087 or so uh, but again try and get an entry close to that line uh, to keep the risk relatively tight it is a holiday week here in the US uh, so liquidity will be light uh, there could be you know moves that we might have spikes above and then and then closes back below so these are the things that you have to be careful for during times of very low liquidity the next chart is the Aussie Kiwi if you remember during yesterday his report I mentioned that I, I in my amateur view here with Elliott Wave I did see a third of a third potential and prices could be targeting that 129 area uh, prices did hold uh, above that 127 figure and, and right now only about 2730 or so uh, but again personally I don't see any favorable risk reward entry uh, I do for and again this would be for more aggressive traders because I do see in my mind's eye prices challenging that 129 area uh, but I just can't find any favorable risk reward entries possibly I'd like to see prices maybe come back down to that 20 2685 area where we might look uh, to enter on the long side but that's a trade personally I would just give a very short leash again because it's a holiday week and that could be an excuse for prices to kind of come come back consolidate a little before this third of third continues the next chart is the pound Swiss and again this is the inverse uh, of the euro pound but the the line is not as defined on this pair so again this is something that I would kind of just stay on the sidelines now and if you want to trade uh, it would be the short trade on the euro pound the next chart is the euro swiss and the sell-off from from the test of this previous support line which is now acting as resistance continues uh but again i don't see anything me personally where i want to enter the trade and these moves again are very small it looks a little bigger here on the chart uh but the the, the scale is tight so that's why they they look bigger uh and again i'm on the sidelines on this pair until things kind of pan out fundamentally um so that's that's where i am with the pair with that being said if you're still in this trade i would continue to hold it again because this line has held um and and I did mention, you know, short trades here at this line uh, when prices were rubbing up against it. The last chart is the euro pound, which I added during the, the past few reports. And I was mentioning the possibility for an inverse head and shoulder patterns. But actually during yesterday's report, I mentioned that we could be forming at least a short term range here using the high of this doji candle, which is about the 63, uh, 63.56 area. And we can see prices now about 62.86. So this is a trade that could materialize over the next 24 to 48 hours. Uh, again, this would be our line right here about let's call it 63.60 and maybe place a stop about the 63.75 area uh, so I would look for prices maybe to rate to, to move up another 20 30 pips or so where we might look to enter or maybe well into the the 163s maybe about 163.25 and maybe place a stop about the uh, 164 figure maybe just beneath it or maybe just above it um, but again I'm looking for this this range to the possibility of this range to sort of be well defined or at least the upside because longer term or at least a little a few days out I do expect prices to come down and test this price point here for the potential of that inverse head and shoulder pattern which obviously I will update as the as the week continues and as prices do move down there if they in fact do again my name is Matt Russell thanks for listening and please stay tuned for a preview of the daily FX I forums. want to take this opportunity to formally welcome you all to the daily FX forums I want to go through the process of how I personally access the forums and how maybe you at home if you want to access the forums in the future might do so the first thing you would do is go to www.dailyfx.com and that will bring up obviously dailyfx.com and usually there on the upper right hand corner I'll go ahead and click on where it says forum and that will bring up the first page of the forums and this this view I personally don't use this view but this view actually shows you uh, the most recent posts uh, on all the threads within the different sections and a little detail about those posts so uh, you can read through and see if there's something you know catches your interest uh, but personally I go ahead and just click on forums and and view them
them in the more traditional sense. Now, these are different threads within the form. There's a section on education, such as Daily FX course instructor tips, which would be good for newer traders. And then for more advanced traders, and I just want to go ahead, you know, personally, the way I use the forums is I would go through the individual threads, uh, just looking for trade ideas, maybe looking at charts, looking at certain lines that maybe I didn't put up on my chart, but, but another trader might have put up on their chart. Uh, I, I tend to, you know, shy away from using direct trade recommendations from other forum members, but it, it helps me to um, sort of even out my analysis, make sure that I'm that I'm seeing things, uh, you know, with a with the right mind in terms of, you know, I might be missing stuff that other traders can see. And that, that's, you know, my personal way of using the form. You know, every trader is going to be a little bit different in how they use it. So if you want to ask questions, if you want to become an active participant of the members, you would have to go ahead and register. So that's what I'm going to go through now is the registration process. So assuming you're brand new to the forums or maybe you've been here a few times and you're not really sure how it works. So I just want to walk through again uh, the registration process. Uh, this would be the front page uh, where, where you would access or the previous page. You'd have the same little box here on the left hand side. Obviously, my username and password are already filled out here. But assuming you're a new member, you would click on where it says register and that will bring up the registration page. If you give me one moment here while my browser loads. And actually first uh, we're going to have uh, some terms of service uh, and daily effects form rules. I do suggest reading through the, the form rules. Um, obviously, you know, profanity and spam and things like that are not allowed, uh, but it also gives you insight on, you know, how to act, how to use the forum and how different traders can use it, uh, you know, in terms of their individual needs. So you would go down to the bottom there, you'd click on where it says, I have read all the rules, and then you would go ahead to the register, uh, the, the formal registration page, and that will bring up here. And you can go ahead and select the username. And how about we'll use 4x? And that name is already in use. Uh, so maybe add a few more x's there. Um, again, it really, you know, your, your individual username is up to you. And you go ahead and fill in your password, your email address. Now, the most difficult aspect of registration for the Daily FX forms will be figuring, figuring out these letters uh, in the box here. Now, I'm a semi intelligent person, uh, but I have a very difficult time figuring out which letters and numbers to use. Now, there is there is a reason uh, for this madness. Uh, it helps with security, uh, but I would suggest just going, going ahead and keep on clicking that refresh image until something comes through that you can actually identify and see. Uh, then you can go ahead and enter your birthday, but you can decide whether or not uh, to to display that to other forum members and then also if you were referred by somebody you can enter that information there the time zone that should default to your computer but you should you know double check and make sure and then you can opt in uh, and I would get, you know suggest opting in for these emails in terms if the administrators want to go ahead and send you some notices about the form and then you would complete registration uh, now what happens is they would send you an email uh, to the email address that you put up here and that email will include a link and all you would have to do is go ahead and click on that link and that link will bring you inside the forum and you would now be a member of the Daily FX forums. Again, this is Matt Russell. Thanks for listening.